Hey guys, Olga Sub here. Welcome to new fluid acrylic painting tutorial. Today I'm in the aqua mood. I'm gonna do an ocean splash painting. And for this one, it's gonna be a color split base with primarily blue and turquoise colors with a few more warm, vibrant colors for contrast and some beautiful accents. And uh, working on 12 by 16 inches creative panel, this is a commission painting. It's inspired by one of the ocean paintings I did in the past, but this one's gonna be different size, the different layout. So let's see how it turns out. I will include color uh, links to all the colors that I'm using today, as always, in the description under the video. So shall you have any questions? Check it out. You know, let's get started. Joy Splash is a secret message today, and I'm gonna start by pouring the color split base. The bottom one is phthalo blue, and the top one is gonna be titanium white. I wanna go for di diagonal layout. All right, the base is done. I torched it to pop the air bubbles because it had a ton, especially my blue, because it's, this one's pretty freshly mixed. So now um, I'm gonna layer my colors sort of in the center here and blow out also in diagonal layout. First, I'm adding some iridescent blue-green and I love this color. I want to have a lot of it. And this one is iridescent green-blue. So they might look similar, but when they dry, they create very interesting effect. One looks a little more greenish, one looks a little more blue, and they actually work really interesting together as well. Here I have mixed some phthalo blue, the same one as in the base, and phthalo green. Just want to bring a little more diversity to this color palette. And this is a, like a dark turquoise color. See, it has a little more green undertone in it. But I think it's going to look interesting once I blow it out. Next one is violet. I'm using it also to bring some interesting diversity to this palette. It will also make an excellent contrast with my gold. Here I have a mix of magentas, primary magenta and permanent magenta. And I don't want it to overmix with a lot of colors, so I'm trying to add it mostly over my violet. Maybe just a touch inside of the turquoise section. I want to have just a couple drops of orange, so I'm adding two different types of oranges. This one is vermilion orange. Let's have a little more right here. And this is iridescent orange. And see, with orange, you don't want it to overmix with blue at all, right? Because they're complementary and they will create some mud together. So I'm adding orange only inside or over my red, not red, magenta and orange. Okay, and of course some um, gold. So gold works good with all these colors. See, I added a bit of blue inside of the orange. That's not a good idea. Try to do not to do that. I also want to have a little bit of this phthalo blue in my white. This is such a cool combination of colors here. I love it. And see how my warm colors, the orange, the magenta and gold, of course, they just pop against the cold blues and turquoise, create beautiful accents, but of course, Let's blow them out and see how that works. And tell me, does it remind you of one of my older paintings? Do you know which one I'm talking about? Who has been here for long enough to recognize? Let me know. Mm -hmm. 
really gorgeous pops of color. So now I want to work on some details. I love how much lacing I have within my center part. don't like these two spots in my flow because the colors got overmixed too much. See, that's the tricky part about working with oranges and blues together. And even if you don't put them next to each other, sometimes when you blow out, paints do overmix more than you want them. So I like to have vibrant parts in this piece, so I'm just dipping those out. Love it now. I had to complete this diagonal movement more just by adding a little more lighter colors. This is absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna make this part a little lighter. So elegant with this diagonal flow. I love it. This spot right here is not very pretty. I don't want to mess up the area around, so I'm going to remove just the smallest part of the paint here. Yeah, it's much nicer and cleaner. I think I also want this part to go a little more towards the right. I need to leave more air for this section. Oh, look at that. What a gorgeous lacing. So it is done, totally, totally done. The one thing that I would like to modify in it, I want some part of this flow, the main flow, this painting, to have gold line. I think it will bring all the bright pops from the rest of the flow together, but I don't want to edit right now because it's so beautiful. I just don't want to <laughs> mess it up. So once it's dry, I think I'll just touch up this line, maybe add a couple more drops of gold in other sections and it is gonna be all done and finished super beautiful elegant all right you guys keep watching i'll be right back to show you the dry result just check out this shine oh boy i will never get tired of this beautiful iridescent colors the gold and the iridescent turquoise they are just yummy so I ended up adding uh, a little more into this section and I love it. It makes a beautiful focal point here right now. Plus it sort of separates this flow from this flow, giving both of them a lot more definition. And of course it emphasizes this curvy movement in my painting, in my flow. So definitely worked out amazing. I think I did a pretty good job blending it with the rest of the painting. So it looks very organic. And when I do that, I work on the dry painting and I use the same fluid acrylics that I used for the pour itself. I really like the pops of bright colors here, the orange and magenta, because the blue color, especially dark, deep blue, like I use for my base, it's very peaceful, calming and quite heavy color. And adding those vibrant pops really brings a lot more life and energy and movement into this painting. 
So it's definitely a very interesting balance here. And the overall piece has a lot of uprising movement. This beauty is now covered with a layer of epoxy and the sides are nice and clean and she's ready to travel to her new home. Tell me what you think. How do you like the outcome and are you up for ocean splash this season? If so, I'm looking forward to see your beautiful creation. Thank you so much for joining me today. Take care, create with passion, and I'll see you, my friend, in the next one. Bye-bye.